Von Scott began working various jobs and also did some vocal work with a band called the Mount Lofty Rangers. But at this point, Bon Scott's career really wasn't getting to where he wanted it to be. On the night of May 3rd, 1974, Bon Scott was very drunk and he had a heated argument with a member of Mount Lofty Rangers during one of their rehearsals. He eventually stormed out and drove off on a motorcycle, ultimately getting into a very serious accident that put him in the hospital for several weeks. As a matter of fact, he was in a coma for three days. Once Bon Scott was out of the hospital, his ex-Valentine's bandmate Vince Lovegrove helped him get odd jobs here and there. Vince Lovegrove was now working on the management side of the business. As a matter of fact, it was Vince Lovegrove who introduced Bon Scott to ACDC. ACDC were looking for a new singer. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that at this point in time, Bon Scott was almost 28 years old, which, of course, 28 is young. But for someone who's only 21 or 19, 28 may feel like a while away. I'm mentioning this because when the young brothers met Bon Scott, Malcolm was only 21 and Angus was only 19. This is relevant for the quote I'm about to share with you. In an interview from 2008, Vince Lovegrove recalled the following about introducing Bon Scott to ACDC. Quote, There was a young, dingy little glam band from Sydney that we both loved called ACDC. Before another ACDC visit, George Young, Malcolm and Angus's older brother, phoned me and said the band was looking for a new singer. I immediately told him that the best guy for the job was Bon. George responded by saying Bon's accident would not allow him to perform and that maybe he was too old. Nevertheless, I had a meeting with Malcolm and Angus and suggested Bon as their new singer. They asked me to bring him out to the Poraka Hotel that night and to come backstage after the show. When he watched the band, Bon was impressed and he immediately wanted to join them, but thought they may be a bit too inexperienced and too young. The upshot was that they had a jam session that night in the home of Bon's former mentor, Bruce Howe, and at the end of the session, at dawn, it was obvious that ACDC had found a new singer, and Bon had found a new band, end quote. The following is a quote from Irene Thornton, Bon Scott's wife at the time he first met ACDC. In this quote, she recalls the night Bon Scott met the band. The first time Bon saw ACDC was in August of 1974. They came through Adelaide with the Lou Reed and Stevie Wright tour and played their own show at the Poraka Hotel. The first time I saw ACDC was at the Poraka Hotel in September. Get up there, Bon, Vince kept saying. The band didn't have a singer that night. They were playing instrumental versions of old rock and roll standards. The boys ripped through all these classic numbers, and then finally, with enough pressure from Vince, Bond climbed onto the stage. Like Bond, the Youngs were Scottish, so there was an instant bond. 